Hello everybody, and today I'm going to be talking to you about Dali's painting, Basket of Bread. He painted one in 1926, and he also did a later rendition in 1945, but I'm going to be looking at the earlier one first. Dali basically wanted to show people that he can master the old techniques, so then he could rebel against them and forge his new style. At this point, he was a student in Madrid, but here's just a picture of what his town in Cadiz would have looked like, and Figueres, which is where he came from. It'd be about three more years till he really went deeply into surrealism, so he's still a young student now. Here you can see the simple cloth, bread, and basket, and it's very realistic. It was influenced by Vermeer's still lives and Velázquez. The light is from the left, and there's also light emanating from the bread itself, and it's using a technique called chiaroscuro, which means using light and dark colors for drama, and it's very much just in the northern Baroque style. The texture of the basket and the subtle tints in the fabric and bread are very apparent. And there's a contrast of the texture outside of the bread with the inside of the bread. The inside is very you know, fluffy and light, while the outside is crustier. It was mainly influenced by Zerberon's still life with lemons and oranges. And it was the first painting by Dolly shown outside of Spain in 1928. This is the second rendition of Dolly's Basket of Bread. He painted this in 1945. So this was after his surrealism slash nuclear mysticism movement, so he just wanted to return to his original subject that he painted in 1926. And again, we can still see the influences of the masters, of the old masters, such as Vermeer and Velazquez. And especially there is a Caravaggio-esque like feel here, with a very dark background and a very light subject, which is the bread in the middle. And just like the last one that you saw, there is a lot of texture, including the basket, and you can see the bread, you can see like the inside and the outside. And also there is a lot of tension in this painting because the basket is hanging on the edge of the table. So you don't know whether it's going to fall or not. So it's similar to the one that he painted in 1926. But it's also different because you can't actually see, you see the inside of the actual flesh of the bread. Dolly used the bread motif throughout his career, and the bread was a symbol of a staple of life, and it connects all people, whether you're low class or high class or in the middle. And also, because it's Salvador Dolly, bread is also a symbol for a sexual fetish, and yeah, he just was into that, I guess. And as you can see, this is his mausoleum, or his theater museum in Figueres, where he's buried, and there's also bread in the outside. And here's just a couple more pictures of what's inside this theater museum. He did a lot of jewelry, and this is his famous ruby lips with pearl teeth. And that basically encapsulates his Dolly's style. And here's just the inside of the museum. You can see the portrait of Abraham Lincoln. And thank you for watching. And check out my blog at learntravelart.com.